Hi there, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Logitech G29 steering wheel on a gaming PC. So, I have previously done a video showing this, but the software was older at the time. I had a laptop, not a gaming PC, so the performance was really poor. And in terms of setup, it was just on a dining room table. So now I've had a few upgrades, as you can see. So I've even got a stand for the steering wheel and pedals and shifter. And even got a console set up here together with a 50 inch TV. Let's make a start at setting up the steering wheel shifter and the pedals on the stand we have over here. So initially let's start off with the pedals. So there's a slot on the stand just over here. I've shown it previously, but I'll briefly go over it again. That just sits and slots straight into place. You can see the pedals just slot under here and there's a small gap here for the cable to come out and this is the cable that plugs the pedals into the steering wheel. Next we'll position the shifter that can go just over here on the side stand and we can just clamp it on by doing the two clamps here and the single one at the bottom. It's firmly in position now. Next we'll take the power cable, we'll just bring that slightly closer as it's going to be plugged into the steering wheel cable for the pedals and cable for the shifter. Now taking the steering wheel, got the cable wound up at the back at the moment, so let me unwind it. Cable's unwound, so what I'll do, I'll get it going into the notch over here, just for a tidy cable management, and we'll plug in the other cables too. Let's plug in the power connector first, so that can go just over here, and I'll wind it around the cable management and we'll have it coming around like that. Next we'll go for the shifter cable, it's just over here. Plug the connector in and we'll wind the cable around the cable management here. Final connector is the connector for the pedals, so that goes in in the location here. And we'll wind that cable up as well to keep it nice and tight. Now as you can see, everything's connected up. It's just a matter of mounting the wheel on the stand. That slots in like so and we can just tighten it up at the two adjusters at the side. There you go. Next, let's just tidy up the cables we've got going at the side here. So I'll just Velcro these down, just keep them nice and tidy. Power adapter just can go behind here and the plug's plugged in just behind the console unit there. Next, we just need to plug in the USB cable into the gaming PC. Now, looking at the screen of my computer, you can actually see I've done a search on Google for Logitech G Hub download, and the first link there is the location for the software. Now, the next thing to do is to plug in the USB cable. So, it's just over here. I'll just plug it in like so. Looking at the steering wheel, see it spin round. Now, if we go to the link, this is what we're presented with, and we have the option to download for Windows or download for Mac OS. Let's go for the Windows download. See it downloading just here in the corner. Now if I right click, now it's downloaded, I can just click open. Click yes to this. Let's minimize this screen. Logitech G Hub. By clicking install, you agree to the terms of the end user agreement. Let's click install and let's give it a moment. Download successful, locked and loaded, install and launch. Let's click that. There you go, started up. So welcome to Logitech G Hub. Let's get started. Click on the gear to start configuring it. Access all your games and create multiple profiles for every game. Get crazy, add a profile for every character for every game. Let's click next to that. Unlock your potential, click across, and we'll select Launch G Hub. Add your profiles from Logitech Gaming software. I'll just click, I'll do it later. Enable analytics to help us make your experience better. I'll just say no to that and click the X here. Connect your Logitech G gear. So let me unplug the USB cable for a moment and plug it back in again. There you go. 
It's picked it up straight away and that's what we're presented with. So you can see a picture of the steering wheel shifter and the pedals. If I click on that. Now coming over here shows you all the controls on the steering wheel. And if I click over here, goes to the shifter, goes back to the wheel. Some additional details here, so commands, keys, actions, macro system. And scrolling down, you can reassign commands. Keys wise, you can assign keys to do certain actions. And you can record your own macros too. And then you've got system here. Okay, clicking here on steering wheel. Details there, so sensitivity is currently 50. Operating range, 900. Centering spring in force feedback games, and then we've got centering spring strength. Clicking over here, you've got pedal sensitivity, so you can adjust that as well. So the clutch is at 50%, brake is 50, and accelerator is 50. Combined pedals, so you've got that option too. And that's it, as simple as that. Now if I click over here, G29 settings, that's what you're presented with. We can come back from there, and that's it. So now this is ready to use. So if I click on there, close it off, now we can just launch a game. So let me launch Forza. Okay, so I've launched Forza Motorsport 7, and if I go to Setup, go to Assist, and then coming down here, Shifting, and if I click on that Manual with Clutch, so you wanna select that if you've got the shifter, if you wanna actually use it, and then we'll just click accept. And now let's try out a race. Okay, so I've started the game. You can see the shifter is currently neutral. And if I clutch down, go into first gear, accelerate. Second gear now. Third. Fourth. And fifth. And let me break just to show that's working too. And now if I push down, there you go, it's in reverse, just to show it in action. There you go. So it works perfectly. And as you've seen, it's pretty straightforward to get working. So let's test it out in action. got the force feedback on here too and if I now crash into the wall there you go you can feel the um, tension on the wheel as well it's not loose so the feedback is really good on this so there you go it works really well Now just to show, I've started Euro Truck Simulator 2 and if I go to options, just to show how to get this going, so you've got controls there and just in the drop down you can see I've got Logitech G Hub G29 Driving Force Racing Wheel USB selected on there. Now if I close that off and let's start a game up. So now if I start driving. You can just see, there you go, it's moving, just to change the view, pretty cool. Performance wise, really good if you're playing on a gaming PC, as you can see. And nice and controllable. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone planning to set up their Logitech G29 on a PC. Do remember you need a good spec PC to run a lot of these games as you can see from the screen quality and the smoothness I'm getting a good frame rate here. 
All the details for all the bits I've used are in the description below, including links for the download. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.